AB, did you see your hair yet? Okay. Back to the phone. We wanted to make her own cape out of uh, toilet paper, so looking good, AB. So cute. Go vlog him and get out of here. Okay, fine, bye. Uh, uh, Good morning guys, happy Sunday to us, happy Monday to you. We are getting things rolling. No! Uh oh, Evie just. This brush just broke in my hand. What were you doing to it? Brushing. Your hair? Well actually I was brushing and then I like I saw the crack and I like this and it snapped on my hands. There was a huge crack in it. Okay, that's not what I was gonna show you. Sorry you got hurt, April. I was gonna show you Evie's little princess hair. Full rotation. The ballet bun. AB, did you see your hair yet? Oh, hair. Back to the phone. We could do anything to her while she's We could like give her a open tattoo, heart open heart surgery, as long as she doesn't even need anesthesia, as long as she's got a phone. There's something wrong with the swing. Uh oh. Is it coming off the ground? Yeah. Does it do it if just one person's on there? Yeah. Oh man. Let Let's go it. have a that look at it. Okay, I dug it down a little bit, got it underneath the black stuff. Let's see, is it swing nice and high? Up, oh, still moving. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna dig it deeper. Evie insisted on putting Daisy's bell dress on. Oh look, that up turns more. Good job, Zade's doing a report on Waco. Okay you guys, we are gonna play with the animals outside because it's a pretty nice day. So. Birdie's on a perch. <laughs> Aw, so cute. And the turtle, that's wow. turtle, so cute. <laughs> he just passes by. <laughs> He's like, I want some attention. Oh, look at that, Daisy. What? Oh, that's probably a little too big for you. She was Dad, demanding that yesterday. Eb was demanding this yesterday, right, Eb? Yeah, you can't get in there with the dress on. You gotta take the dress off to get in, okay? Open it. Ugh. Bunny likes her dress. Run, E.B., run! Don't step on the turtle, E.B., okay? Okay, E.B. wanted to make her own cape out of uh, toilet paper, so looking good, E.B., okay. Happy Sunday. Today we chased 18 little kids around nurseries, or I did at least, and the lesson was, Jesus and Heavenly Father love you. They do. And it's been a little while since I've really, like I, I've had a lot of experiences where I felt like specifically like a huge blessing or something very specific happened where I'm like, I know that this is Heavenly Father saying he loves me. But then I thought about it today, I'm like, nothing huge, but a little thing, like, I was worried about where Evie's other ballet slipper was, because she wanted to wear them, and I said a little prayer, and I wasn't finding it, and then right before we left the house, I thought to look in Andrew's laundry basket, and there it was, that, right there, I was like, Heavenly Father cares about me and loves me, like, it was something little that I asked, that I got an answer to, it was little, but it was still special to me, anyway. What did you learn about? Joseph and his time in Egypt working for Potiphar. That's what we did And how too. he was able to rise up. He, he, was a, he made the best of a really bad situation and because of his honor and his relationship with God, he was able to work his way up to being the second most powerful man in Egypt. And then he was like betrayed by Potiphar's wife and but he never gave in to temptation. She came at him like every single day. She was always trying to tempt him. And finally she grabbed him by the shirt and wanted to lie with him. And he just ran and left this piece of his garment or his shirt right there. And he got out of there and he ran from the... And then the quote I wanted to share was President Spencer W. Kimball said that we should only... For most major decisions in our life, we should only have to make the choice once. It should be like... Every time we're faced with a temptation, we're trying to figure it out if we should do it or not. We just make the decision once in our life and that's it. When it like for example, maybe smoking. Like if you're young and you're like, I am going to make it a goal in my life, I will never smoke. 
like that. Yeah. Like and then that. you've already made the decision. You've made that decision. I'm never it's gonna. It's not even a choice. You have to decipher the oh next time it comes up again. Make that choice, and that's the end of it. Like, like Michelle Shumway from the Shumway Show. She was telling me the other day she has never said a swear word her whole life. It's not even an option for her. She, I was like, what? <laughs> I've said swear words before. But I was like, no, you're lying. And she was like, oh no, I ne really never have. I made the decision when I was young and I like, I just never have. And I thought that was really cute and really awesome and really cool. Anyway, make a goal, stick to it. When you're young, young kids, I'm talking to you. Decide now. We are at Grandma's house, Woohoo! She's like, hooray! And we are gonna go inside and say hi to Grandma. Hello. 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 And a bird. Oh, is he gonna peck my face off? <laughs> oh. Scott, yes, did you miss me? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Andrew was very distraught the other day when I explained to him that he couldn't marry his cousin Sierra. But I just went up and checked on him, and they were playing house. <laughs> and I gotta show you guys how cute it is. Because it's his birth. They're pretending like it's Andrew's birthday, and he's getting presents right now. Is that your birthday present? Are you pretending like it's your birthday? Yeah. So stop vlogging and get out of here. Okay, fine. Bye. So stop vlogging and get out of here. And the boys are playing video games. And the girls are making grandpa crazy. They're still in all of his electronics. Also, we are leaving Elizabeth here for the week because we're going to ClamorCon tomorrow. And tomorrow. Still, they just was like, I don't want to be rude, but I'm glad Evie's not going to the Glamour <laughs> And then you thought I said we're not going. No, Evie's not going. It's because she won't wear a life jacket. There's water and pools everywhere, and um, she won't go to sleep at night unless it's in her bed or or a room by herself, which hotels don't have. She would just cry the whole time in all the classes. So she got the boot. That's okay, because the other four kids get to come. So we're going to focus on them this week. It'll be fun, but... And Grandma and Grandpa get extra special bonding time with Evie, which is super cool. So everyone will be fine. I will miss her, but that's how it goes. You guys are playing a game? Yeah. It's where two of doll and that moment. Our friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah, they're just playing. They're that's friends. funny. Let's see you guys play with them. No. No, Mom, just leave us alone. <laughs> to play. Nobody wants me to vlog them. What am I going to do? You guys like those cookies? Chocolate. Do they taste good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like rolls almost. I think the flour got dumped in there. They're a little too thick for me. <laughs> the kids don't care. You dancing like Leap? We are home from my mom's house. We left Evie there. She's not coming to California with us. So she gets to hang out with grandma all week long. So she's gonna have a blast there. Go check out my mom's vlogs to see all the fun. Thanks for watching the vlog. And don't forget, always find good in everything. It is out there. Look for the good in people. Look for the good in situations. Look for the good in everything. And don't forget to subscribe, says Ender, right there. Okay, see you guys tomorrow.